Hey everyone, this is my review for the new expansion for Borderlands called the uh, uh, Mad Moxie, the Underdome Riot, I think it's called. It's in the it's in the top, obviously. I forgot the full name. Came out today, got it about two hours ago. I didn't finish it, but I want to give my pretty much my review because it looks like it's just going to be the same thing. It's an arena-based uh, expansion, pretty much. It's, you know, a whole bunch of guys, like waves of waves, you know, kind of like Horde or something from Gears of War or... Uh, Firefight from, what the hell is it called, Firefight from Halo 3 ODST, it's pretty much like that, so it's like an expansion in that way, and to be honest, it's really fun, I would have to say, it's not as good as the zombie one, the zombie island, Dr. Ned, I wouldn't say that, because I love zombies, and it was kind of fun to fight something that's not always trying to jump at you and shoot at you, they're just like, oh, brains, you know, it's, it's, it was different for Borderlands, and this one's different because it's arena style of game, uh, you know, arena in the sense of pretty much, you know. Uh, they had a couple new things like a, like a, a bank system where you can actually uh, put all your guns in. You could save them there so you can, like, get them later or something like that, which is cool. You could just put them in there so you have some space, but you still keep your guns, which is cool. That's what Borderlands needed, and it's cool that they uh, actually put that in there. Uh, they also have a new character, obviously, Mad Moxie. That she's like the pretty much the announcer for the arena. She's like next wave is a horde, which means it's all guys that attack with like knives and explode themselves and shit. Next one is a badass round where all the guys are big, strong, badass types. Uh, and the next one is weapons, which means everybody has a weapon, just like a you know like a oh that's why it's called gunfire or something like that. They all have guns. Guns round. That's what they, she calls it. Mad Moxie is a cool character. I mean, she you know, she kind of reminds me of Lilith a little bit. If you play as Lilith, uh, Lilith, uh, Lilith, the siren, pretty much. She talks like, aha, I'm badass. Oh, she reminds me a lot. She actually sounds a lot like her. And I like the new character. I mean, I like her. I thought maybe because I saw the trailer, I thought maybe she would be a playable character. Uh, but uh, obviously not. She isn't playable. At least, I don't know if you fight her at the end. Which would kind of suck because she is a kind of a new character. You know, she doesn't seem like that asshole kind of character. She just sounds like the, you know, announcer. Uh, she's looking for her uh, fourth husband, by the way, which is funny. And she's like, maybe the arena is my fourth husband. Oh. Anyway, yeah, it's pretty much the same kind of Borderlands. Just shoot, shoot, shoot. Except this time there's two problems with it. There's no loot drops. Only at the end of a round you get some loot, dro loot drops, which is kind of random. Sometimes there'll be two. Sometimes there'll be three guns, which is cool. But you don't get, like, any money or anything, which is kind of gay. I mean, you can sell your guns you got, but whatever. You only get them at the end of the round. You don't kill someone, and then they drop a gun, which is it's fine, I guess. But that's the whole point of a loot, you know, a loot kind of game. To kill someone, they drop some stuff, you know, get the loot. But I guess it's fine this time. And you don't get experience, which is kind of gay. You probably get experience at the end of all the uh, tournaments. But you don't get any for actually killing them, which is really, really stupid. I don't like that. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much my review. I have to give it a... This time I'm going to give it a lower score. I gave it 9 for the last one. I'm going to give it an 8.5 this time. Really fun. Definitely suggest to go get it. So, there's my review for Borderlands new expansion pack. It's just Arena. Five rounds. Five waves for each round, 25 waves, and that means five boss waves, so you, there you go. Oh, I forgot to mention that. You also fight a whole bunch of bosses from, I, I think I forgot to mention that, I don't remember. You, you get to fight, like, at the end of each round, you fight bosses from, like, older missions from Borderlands, so you fight, like, you know, just the big bosses from last time. So, yeah, that's kind of cool, too. Uh... Yeah, and you can also obviously bring in friends. Obviously, you could do that in any Borderlands thing. So yeah, eight point five. Definitely go get it if you can. Uh, but it was, you know, I can't wait for the next one. I hope the next one's more mission based. This one, not really. So you know, they added cool things like the bank thing. Hopefully, they keep the bank thing. So anyway, that's all. That's really it. No real new areas to explore. Just the arena. So yeah. Anyway, thank you and uh, bye. Eight point five. Yay.